Making sure that your child is safeguarded against inappropriate content or purchases while having fun on their Xbox 360 is very straightforward. In this film, we'll show you how to set up your child's account, how to ensure they only have access to appropriate games and entertainment, and also how to make sure they don't buy anything they shouldn't. So to start off, you need to sign out of your own Xbox Live account and set your children up with their own profiles and have them join Xbox Live. To do this, just follow the same steps you used when setting up your own account by clicking on the Central Guide button on your Xbox controller to bring up Xbox Guide, hitting X to sign out, and then selecting Create Profile. Once you've been through the new profile creation process and set up your child's details, join Xbox Live when asked. And when prompted, make sure you enter your child's age properly so the account recognizes it as being used by a child. Then, when asked to make sure, you select your own account as the parent profile as this allows you to manage your child's account. You'll then be asked to verify your age by entering your credit card details. Don't worry, nothing is charged or stored at this stage. This is simply to verify that you're the adult in question. When done, switch out from your child's new profile and back into yours. From the main dashboard, find the Settings panel by swiping or moving to the right. Then select the Family tile. Because you have set your account as the parent profile, you will now see your family's accounts listed inside. From here, you can now set up privacy and content controls for everyone in your family. Now, by clicking on the individual family member tiles and then selecting the privacy and online settings tile, you have a variety of options open to you. You can either select some age-appropriate preset configurations or you can customize them to whatever is suitable for you. These include restricting the ability to browse the web under web browsing, who they can accept as friends, and whether they can play games with anyone online. Coming out of the individual family member accounts, you will also see a panel where you can define general content controls. From here, you can set up restrictions based on games and entertainment ratings, whether unrated or explicit material can be viewed, how long the console can be used on a daily or weekly basis, and whether your family can access Xbox Live. When you click Save and Exit for the first time, you will then be prompted to create a four-button passcode, which you will then need to enter every time you want to access these content controls again. Remember, this code will act as your security against anyone trying to access content they shouldn't or changing the restrictions you set up, so keep it safe. While these options go a long way to protect against unwanted activity by family members on either their own or your accounts, there are further ways to help protect your family. If you have allowed a family member permission to buy content from Xbox Live, you can ensure no extra spending occurs by purchasing a prepaid Xbox Live card at retail which will only allow your child to spend that set amount and block access once the spend limit is reached. And to make sure no one can access your Xbox Live account and its settings, you can set up a passcode that has to be entered every time you log in. To set this up, simply navigate to the Settings panel once again. Click on Account Management. Flick to Account Security within the Your Information section of the available panels. And from there, you can set up your passcode. Once this is done, you're good to go, secure in the knowledge no one can access your Xbox Live account without entering the passcode, so make sure it's safe and away from young, inquisitive eyes. For more information on how to help protect your children on your Xbox 360, head on over to this website to find out more.